Okay, my name is Remy Sharp, and I just wanted to sh share a uh, small performance insight, which I've kind of always had a gut feel about, but um, this kind of proved it for me. So, JSBin, um, I made a change to uh, the way the listings, like the home listing, works, um, and there's some subtle uh, changes here. I noticed when I roll my mouse over, it's it's a little bit sluggish in the first place, but when I scrolled, it felt a little bit janky. Um, it felt it, when it slows down, it kind of judders when it's slowing down, which I didn't really understand why it was doing that. So I thought I'd look at uh, the performance tools. So um, I get up. First thing I'm going to do is basically go to timeline um, and just start recording uh, Command D, and then just go back and just do a bit of scrolling, get an idea of what's happening, and stop the scrolling. Um, and basically what I'm looking at is uh, these. Now before, when I was trying this earlier, I was seeing very large uh, spikes, like this kind of uh, size. Um, <clears throat> and I was trying to understand what was what, what I'm looking at. Um, so things like this is, I'm, I'm in Canary as well, I should add. So things like this are new to me. Um, and I don't really know what they mean. Uh, and I don't know where they're painting as well. So um, if I roll my mouse over, I assume these are the paints of these blocks, but rolling my mouse over doesn't really indicate what it's actually painting. Um, so I'm not sure what's causing it. Um, and I noticed the uh, the paint checkbox here, so I thought I'd re uh, recapture. So um, I've checked this box, um, Command E, and just scroll again. <coughs> And we'll see what we get. So this is more interesting here. Um, there's these, these huge paint blocks. And I'm unsure if I'm now capturing more information or if um, because of this paint checkbox or if uh, there's more cost to painting. Um, I'm unclear. Um, but this still didn't yield any information, uh, any kind of useful information to me. So, um, playing around with these guys, I changed the view down to uh, this. So this is the tracing mode, which is kind of closer to tracing. It's not quite tracing, I think. Um, I'm not totally sure. I, I've never really played with tracing because it's more of an engineer's thing. Um, very kind of hardcore, deep analysis of what's going on. Um, but I found when I clicked on... Where did I get it? I got something by clicking on one of these and I had a whole bunch of detail down the side. Um, like the actual, like the paint calls that were happening. Ah, right, here we go. So by getting this one, this paint, this is telling me what it painted. So this is the, I guess kind of the the internal call to painting the layout. I'm assuming I can scroll down. Oops, I can. Oh, I can scroll down uh, this and get an idea of what was painted. Nope. So this window is blank. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I was kind of expecting that to be. Um, like what it's drawn at this point. Oh, maybe it's draw. That's what that one drawer is. Um, but when I was looking at this, so I don't know what red is. I filed an issue. Oh, okay, so it's telling me what it's actually rendering on the page. I wonder if clicking that. Nope. It's a main thread. So this whole, this whole block is what's required to draw this. And red, I don't know what that means. Um, but something that kind of stood out to me, when I looked at this paint rex, I'm looking right down this corner. I can see the rectangle it's actually drawing. I started looking at what it was actually drawing. I realized it's doing all this work to... Um, render the text um, and when I look back 
look at the uh, like element specs, if we just connect it down there. If I look back at what I'm doing here, um, I'm actually using opacity to change the color of these guys. Um, and it's something I've always been a little bit wary of, like why use opacity if I don't actually need to use opacity? Um, so I can filter this down um, and I want to find all the uh, opacity changes. So that I'm using 0.3 to just make it a little bit faded out, but really I just want to make it gray, not uh, 0.3. So I'm just going to make it, get rid of the opacity to start off with. Um, <clears throat> and there's another one over here. Um, and just see if that makes a difference. Um, there we go. So I've gotten rid of the opacity on the page. And I'm going to rerun my uh, timeline, or I'm just going to Actually, I'm just going to scroll to see what, how it feels. And immediately it feels a lot better. And it's just kind of scrolling by, which is great. This is what I actually want. And my suspicion was that opacity is great for when you actually want to have opacity. But if you're just trying to make something slightly less black, in this case, I would normally just use opacity to get it grayer. But really what I should be doing is using the opacity to find the right color, then actually finding out what that color is and changing it to the real color so that the browser isn't trying to paint it black and then with some alpha transparency, let the background come through when all it is is white. Um, so if we just record that. <clears throat> and still a little bit of work that I can do on this. And I, I have a suspicion that there's kind of a hover event that's happening that I don't need. But you can see these bars are a lot better. Um, just at the end, it kind of slowed down. So look at this. So we're not seeing that massive painting. Anymore. We've got one here. Again, I don't really. Uh, so you can see the whole thing has been painted. I guess I think that's probably is that more effective. Gosh, this is just cool, but I have no idea what it does. And it's a little bit sluggish. Yeah, I think this looks like it's painting the entire block. And in fact, that's that last, last big one. Um, but it feels better. Like, just it feels better. Not even looking at the, the tools, it just feels quicker. Um, I think this effect needs to be debounced as well. Um, I'm doing some work there. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. So my findings there. Really, uh, lesson learned for myself is not to use opacity just to get something to grey, basically. Um, so I'll be making that change and fixing up on JSBin. Hopefully that's useful to someone.